control. Out of control. Diz? Diz, hello? Diz? I just wanted you to autograph some pictures for me! Hey! Oh, maybe, um, this is a little too rough for a newcomer. Maybe, maybe I'll just help out. I want host, okay? <clears throat> Co-hosts. That's it. Remember the show we co-hosted back, back in, in Detroit? Detroit. <laughs> Oh, no. Fred Newman is so very important. He can just come in and take over the show forever. Poor Dave. And Dave's so much cooler than Fred. Now, Fred, how do I get to be a cool guy like you? Well, Dave, I've got an idea. Why don't I introduce a story about being cool? All right, Fred. Cool out. Today, we're going to learn about being cool. Since the beginning of time, people have wanted to be cool. Even our primitive ancestors liked hard rock. And in the beginning, all you needed to look cool was a pair of sunglasses. But now, cool changes so fast, it's hard to keep up. Look at men's hairstyles. You can get puffed up, stuck up, straightened out, blown out, even this comb buster. It's easy to be cool if you follow these simple rules. Rule number one, dress cool. Clothing is a personal statement about your attitude. Nice clothes will make everybody envy you. Buy designer labels if you really want people to notice you <laughs> and your pocketbook. Rule number two, walk cool. You see, a cool person has glide in his stride, soul in his stroll, beat in his feet, banter in his canter, blues in his shoes, you know? Rock in his walk, grass on his back. Rule number three, ride cool. Your mode of transportation is as important as your clothes. Make the best of what's available. Rule number four, talk cool. What it is, wanna catch a flick with me, sister? Ew, no. Hi, wanna go to the movies or something? Oh, cool. But most of all, just be yourself, and you'll be amazed at the results that you'll get. Cool. Oh, now that's cool, man. That's cool, too. Hold on. This ain't cool. Psst, hold on, Angela! Did you guys hear? Dave's getting the big F. Fired. And Fred Newman is gonna take over as host of the show. Oh, no! Well, <laughs> I'm gonna have to do something about that. <laughs> Next, we're gonna go on an in-studio safari. <laughs> Just like that. Mm -hmm. Yes, out of control, ace reporter Hearn Burford has promised to fill the studio with jungle plants, and he's going to bring in a real lion and an elephant. Hearn? Hi, Dave. Fred Newman! So excited to meet you. <laughs> Hearn Burford, out of control, ace reporter. Here's some of my clippings. <laughs> I just wanted you to know that if you were to ever, say, host this show, which I don't think he would, <laughs> I want you to know that I'd be more than glad to work for you. I'm the greatest reporter in the world, Fred. These aren't... These aren't cuttings. They're, they're, it's ads for donut houses. And every one of them's up to the minute. <laughs> you gotta be Dave's right hand man. That's right. Please, Dave, please. Please, please, please. Don't, don't tell how I always get my story. How I always come through with the big one. How no matter how much you expect of me, I always give more. Please, don't embarrass me by telling Fred how great I am. Don't worry, I won't, Hearn. So where's the in-studio safari? Well, I didn't do it. But I got something better. You know how in trained animal acts, the animals always act like people, they dance, they play musical instruments? Well, in this act, it's even better. Not only do they act like people, but these animals look like people. Let's have a warm, out of control welcome for the Von Yap family.
Isn't it amazing how those dogs learn all those tricks considering the time they have to spend shaving their bodies? <laughs> well, I gotta go. Fred, it's been great. I think you're terrific. Pleasure. And I'll see you around, uh, uh... Dave. Dave, right. Yeah. What a great guy. He's a heck of a guy. You know? Oh, yeah, yeah. just yeah. terrific. So Fred Newman has taken over as host of the show, and Dave's probably gonna be sent to some show that's millions and zillions of miles away. Oh, no! Nickelodeon asks, just who is this DM? Stop asking silly questions and get on with it, will you? Okay, he's a dynamo. That's not true. He's a doormat. I feel a bit run down. Ah, a dancing machine? Can't fool you, he's Danger Mouse with his ever faithful and completely cowardly assistant. Me? Yes, you, Penfold, that's DM, Danger Mouse to you on Nickelodeon. Now every weekend, Nickelodeon has the adventures of Star Trek. What time period, huh? What time period? Oh, uh, yeah. You have to remember. Oh, yeah. Star Trek's on Saturdays at 9, 8 Central, and 6, 30, 5, 30 Central, and Sundays at 11, 30, 10, 30 Central. Sorry, fellas, I won't forget again. I'll go over them again if you like. No, 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 I remember now. Star Trek's on Saturdays at 9, 8 Central, and 6, 30, 5, 30 Central, and Sundays at 11, 30, 10, 30 Central. Thank you. On Nickelodeon. Now, watching Turkey Television is a bigger blast than ever. Because Nickelodeon scoured the globe to bring you brand new turkey bits. Read my lips. Dumb. Brand new turkey bits. It's, it's squishy, but it's not runny like the other one. This really got carried away this time. Look for them in Turkey Television on Nickelodeon. Gentlemen, welcome back to Out of Control with your tag team host Fred Newman and Dave Coulier. The crowd is really going wild because we're ready to see the thriller of the pillar, the World Championship Pillow Fights. Uh, covered by our ace reporter, Angela Quickly. Take it away, Angela. The two hosts are both in the ring. It's pandemonium. It's definitely out of control. Whoa. I guess so. Gee, I don't know. What do you think? Could be. Mm, possibly. Maybe. Yeah, yeah it's, it's probably, probably true. true. What does it take to build a champion? This is Angela Scoop quickly reporting. And today we follow Herb the Feathered Hammer Pulowski and Cindy Nightmare McSlumber as they compete in the World Championship Pillow Fight. How's the punching, Pulowski? I need this win. I train hard. I never put my pillow down. Not even in bed. Hi -ya! How you making out there, McSlumber? The hammers are fell away. I'll bag them in two rounds. And now is the moment of truth. The moment the world has been waiting for. OK, you guys know the rules. I want a good, clean fight. Touch pillows and come out fighting. Pulowski leads with a swish, a swoop, and a flunk. Whoa! What an exciting match this is! <laughs> but McSlumber dodges the blow, follows up with a spinning glamour sham. Ooh, that one must have hurt Pulowski. The feathered hammer looks confused. McSlumber winds up, but ooh! The hammer gets in a quick one. He caught Nightmare off guard with that. Boy, oh boy, this is going to be a tough fight. Well, that's the end of the first round as the fighters retire to their corners. Let's listen in as McSlumber's trainer gives her some sound advice. If you're winding up too far before the flump, use your uppercut. If you waste too much time, he'll knock your noggin with a bloot. Good tips from McSlumber. Let's see what Pulowski's trainer has to say. Your flammer sham's pretty good. Work on the dancing and the footwork. Your pillow's tough and your pillow can talk for you. 
round two begins, and this time Pulowski comes out swinging. A flink, a flop, a double farmer sham. Wow, this is really exciting. Wow, Doc, back against the ropes. Nightmare is crying foul. While the ref checks the snaps on Pulowski's Dr. Denton's, Nightmare is up to no good. There's something funny going on here, but the ref doesn't seem to notice. Okay, guys, let's go. Well, what's happening here? A Nightmare seems nailed down, and the hammer's taking advantage of it. Well, Nightmare's so pooped she can't lift her pillow. Oh, oh, oh! But wait! Nightmare's pillow has ripped! And looks like Pulowski has won the championship. What an exciting day for world sports. Back to you, Dave. Well, Dave, that was terrific. You like that? Oh, yeah. What that an great. excellent story. Mm -hmm. yeah. Did you see how that one kid clobbered that other kid? And then how he stuck him again and again and again? And then he'd hold back really far and let him have it just like this, just like that. And then it was really weird wait, and wait, very wait, wait. dangerous, almost as dangerous as hosting this show. Hmm. Dave, I think I have a little to learn about hosting this show. Uh, Waldo, <laughs> this is Fred Newman. Waldo, hi. Mm. Hi. Waldo, what are you doing in that outfit? Dave, take me with you. What? I'm going with you, Dave. I've invented this special generator and transmitter, and we can transmit your show from the Arctic even at 200 degrees below zero. What show? Your show, from Siberia. Don't worry, Dave. I'm with you. <laughs> wow, you're gonna do a show in Siberia? Gee, uh, I don't know. Lucky. Oh, would you like it? Oh, can I get it? You really want it? Oh, yeah, let me have it. Oh. Uh, I'm sorry that had to happen, Fred. But that's what happens to you when you're the host on Out of Control. Hold on a second. I got one for you. What's stupid and takes forever? This show, that's what. <laughs> well, to kind of brighten things up around here, we're going to have a contest. And now it's time for... Name Man, that, that cartoon, cartoon character! character. Yeah, do, 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 do. Say, Fred, can you introduce our contestants? You bet, Dave. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Our contestants today, Tammy, Teddy, and Tina, they, they're about that tall, and they come from all over. But they do have one thing in common. They know their cartoon characters, Tammy, Tina, and Teddy. The judge and timekeeper today, Ha Ha 3200, the out-of-control comedy computer. My decision is final. Kind of. Pretty much. Dave, the first voice, please. OK, Fred. The first voice is, all right, you big palooka. Come on, get out of here, or I'll throw your goy under the octopus. <laughs> and your answer, please. I know. Popeye the Sailor. Absolutely right. OK, Fred, now with the next voice. <laughs> okay, and your answer is? We have no idea. No, I'm afraid it's the Tasmanian Devil from the Bugs Bunny cartoons. Even my memory banks don't remember that one. Why don't you give it to them anyway? Okay. Okay. Okay, Tammy, Tina, and Teddy have all been such great sports that you win the big prize. You'll get to be in your own cartoon. Yes, you'll have smoke come out your ears, you'll get socked over the head, and you'll fall off a mile-high cliff and make a tiny little puff of dust when you hit, all courtesy of Out of Control. <laughs> Thanks, Thanks, Thanks. Thanks. I think we got to get better prizes. Hey! I bet you can't guess the name of this cartoon character. Only one thing can prove that Dave is the best host for Out of Control. A duel. <gasps> A duel? <laughs> All right, Dave and Fred. 
to finish off this show, why don't we have a duel with mouth sounds? And we can call it a mouth-off. But Diz, Fred Newman wrote the book on mouth sounds. Wherever quality books are sold. Well, trust me, Scoop. And Waldo, he even invented a mouth meter so we could decide who the winner is. Okay. Okay, well, why don't we warm up? Sure. You ready? <clears throat> All right. Oh, there they are, warming up their cheeks and their lips. Very exciting. <laughs> okay. Let's begin then with the first category, musical instruments. <clears throat> If a person was willing to pay that kind of money for our little girl, that they would take the best care of her? Wouldn't you think? Let's move on to the second category, animals. Category machines. We better do a freestyle category. Go to it, guys! That's not fair. What are you doing? I'm sorry, Dave. I was desperate. It's just that I didn't want Fred to take over as host of the show forever. Fred's not going to host the show forever. It's... <laughs> He's just helping out for today. Mm-hmm. Well, um, gee, Fred, I'm really, really sorry. It's okay. We're... Dave, how come you didn't get a pucker like this from this lemon? Oh, because I eat lemons all the time, Fred. Oh, Dave will eat just about anything. Hey, Fred, you know, it was great having you co-host. Why don't you come on next week and do it again? Mm. Mm. Dave, this show is a little too out of control for me. No, 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 I'm fine. Thank you. <laughs> well, that's our show for this week. See our next show when we go all the way to LaGrange, Georgia, to the Elks Club, where they make real hand-torn barbecue. See you next time. <laughs> never asked me to co-host the show. Okay, little guy, suit yourself. No, not pot roast. Co-host! Bowling ball. Lips. Next, Star Trek is beaming in, here on Nickelodeon. An educational moment from You Can't Do That on Television. Today's lesson, ice cream down the shirt. For more information, watch You Can't Do That on Television.